the Season 8 Build Challenge is on! We finally have Season 8 here, and you know with every new season comes a new Season Build Challenge. Every season I challenge my community to make something based off of the theme of the current season. I then take all of your entries and put it into a video to show off the talent that's in this community. So today I'm gonna give you a few ideas on what you could do for this season's Build Challenge, and I'm also gonna give you the rules on how to enter. Please pay attention to the rules at the end of the video. Do not submit something unless you've listened to all of it. It'll help me out so much when I'm editing the final product. Okay, let's jump into some ideas, but remember, this is just my ideas for you to help you get going. You can come up with whatever you want. One of the first things that comes to my mind for this season is Kevin. Not just purple Kevin, but blue Kevin. What the heck is blue Kevin? And for that matter, what is this gold Kevin? You can recreate Kevin. You can make a map based off of Kevin. You can do a whole world based off of purple, blue, and gold Kevin. Maybe there's even green Kevins and gray Kevins out there. I don't know. And then the next clear category for me is the sideways. I love the idea of the sideways or the upside down. I mean, we could do some Stranger Things stuff in here. I mean, there's all sorts of cool things you can do with this. We can totally emulate some of the look in here with the new Sky Gnome devices. I mean, there's a lot of cool stuff. I'm hoping we actually get these creatures in the creature device as well. It'd be awesome to be able to like actually use some of these. They're not that different than our current guys anyways. You could even use like our, the old, you know, zombies. I would love to get an updated look though. I mean, it could even just be artistic builds built in the sideways. I mean, this is so awesome. And then in the trailer, you see this like thing in the background. I don't know what that is, but I feel like we can do a whole bunch of horror maps just based on whatever that is. Okay, guys, now let's look through the battle pass for some inspiration. I always like to check out the skins, of course. We've got Charlotte here, which is your typical transformer monster slaying teen with a possessed sword. I love that description. <laughs> and it looks like here's her sword and the emote with it. I love this emote. It's so good. Oh, and it looks like Charlotte's also got an enchanted spirit form. So what are some maps you could do based off of Charlotte's backstory? She's hunting demons. Like, why? Maybe her family was murdered by demons and now she's getting revenge. I would love to see, like, a story map on that. Next is probably my favorite is tuna fish. I love these, like, goofy type skins. He's an aspiring rainbow fish. The cool thing about this skin is you'll be able to unlock all of these awesome different styles. So I would love to see some creative takes on a map for this skin. Okay, now we've got Kor. She's an assassin for hire with some suspicious ties to the IO. What is Kor's backstory? Those eyes don't look necessarily human to me. Is she actually a human? Or has she just been stuck in the loop too long? All right, now we've got Fabio Sparklemane. His hoof shoots five kinds of sugar. <laughs> this may be one of the weirdest skins ever in Fortnite, but I also love it. I want to see Fabio's house. Like a Fabio open world or a death run based in his world. There's even a golden Fabio. Oh, look at his hair. That is so cool. So a mystical Fabio Sparklemane world house something. I feel like there's a lot of things you could do there. All right, now we've got JB Chimpansky. That name is too much. It was all fun in spacewalks until they left him behind. And now he's a man chimp? I don't know. <laughs> this opens up some interesting concepts. Space stations, places he could have been left behind, places he could have explored as he grew up. What adventures has JB Chimpansky seen? Oh, Torin's skin is so cool. She's 100 prepared for every dimension. But she's got this like transformational thing here. Oh, dude, check that out. Oh, she's way cooler now. It's all sideways here. So she's like a sideways character. Once again, that sideways could be really cool. Okay, and of course we've got Carnage. Venom is probably one of my favorite characters and all of the stuff around it. So this Carnage character works really great for me. And I would love to see some more like Spider-Man, Venom type maps. Definitely acceptable for this season. Now on top of the battle pass, we've also got the item shop. Now everything in the item shop right now is kind of old. But if we get something new, like I don't know, Naruto, which is supposed to come to the item shop at some point. I've already made the Hidden Leaf Village for Naruto. And guys, I'm trying to say his name right. Please don't flame me for saying Naruto. But you can use that whole universe and make anything out of that or anything else that comes to the item shop that makes sense. Now I want to talk to you about the two ways you can enter. The first is by tweeting an image or a video using hashtag S8 build challenge. Now one thing when you're submitting guys, please put in a description of whatever you've built. So say you made a sideways zombie map in the hidden leaf village then make sure you put it in your description. Then attach your image or your video or a link to your video. And if you have a code for your map, make sure you include that too. The other way to submit is by going to my discord server, which there's a link to it in the description below. Then go down to the video help category and make sure it's expanded and you'll see season eight submissions. And then you'll see all of the instructions on how to submit. And here you can put in your image, the link to your video and your map code if you have one. You have until the end of October 11th to submit your image or your map. I cannot wait to see what you guys are gonna build. Let's go.